Hello, we're going to do a maths cast now on bisecting lines and angles. Basically, all of the compass skills you'll need for your exam. So, let's begin with our first question. Our first question asks us to bisect the red line. So, we get our compass and we put one point in one end of the line and we put the pencil in the other end of the line and we draw a half circle. So we go above and below the line. We then swap it round. We put our compass in that side of the line. We put our pencil in the other side of the line and we draw the half circle again above and below the line. This is good because where the half circle meets, that will be our points which we're going to use and we're going to join that point with the bottom point and we've bisected the red line. What that means is we've cut the red line in half. So there's our first example. The second question asks us to bisect this angle. So we're given an angle and we're asked to bisect it. We're asked to cut it in half. So this one's slightly harder. What we do is we put our compass in the middle of the angle and we open it a certain amount so that when we draw a half circle, it goes through both lines. So we have a point there and we have a point there. We keep our compass at the same distance and we put it in the first cross and we draw a small curve in front of the angle. Keeping the compass the same size, we then put it in the second cross and again we draw a small curve in the middle of the angle. Where those two lines meet, here, if we join it up with the start of the angle, we've bisected the angle, or we've cut it in half. Next, we're going to draw an equilateral triangle. Well, this is quite easy. They'll always give you a line to start with. And we put our compass in one end of the line. We open it so it's the same size as the line. And we draw our half circle, but we only do it above the line this time. Then we swap it round, put it in each end of the line, and we draw our half circle but only above the line. Where those two lines meet, here, join it up with the start of the line at both ends, and there we have it. That is an equilateral triangle, a triangle where all sides are the same distance. One final one we're going to do now, and it's draw a 30 degree angle. Well, we can't draw a 30 degree angle straight away. What we have to do is we have to draw a 60 degree angle and then we have to bisect it, which means we're going to cut a 60 degree angle in half. That will give me a 30 degree angle. Well, if we think about it, we just drew a 60 degree angle because in the previous question, we drew an equilateral triangle and all of the angles in an equilateral triangle are 60 degrees. So we're going to just draw an equilateral triangle again. So we get our compass, put it at one end of the line, put the pencil at the other end, and we draw our curve above. We then repeat, but we do it the other side. Draw it above. But this time, instead of drawing a whole triangle, we're just going to join it up at one point. So this angle here is 60 degrees. Now we need to bisect that. So we did it a minute ago. This is bisecting an angle. We're just going to bisect the angle now here. I'm going to change my pen so it's green, so you can see the bisecting is green. So put our compass at the start of our angle and open it a certain amount so that it will go through both of the lines. So our two points will be here and here. Keeping the compass the same size, we put it in the first point and we draw a small curve in front of the angle. We then repeat and put it in the second point and draw a small curve above the angle. And where it meets here, we join back up with the start of our angle, 
and we've bisected it. We've cut it in half. So this angle here will be 30 degrees. You mustn't rub out any of your working outlines when you do this question because that's what you get the marks for. Uh, have a practice at all of these different techniques and you'll be able to get a couple of marks in your exam.